Oh, yes, we love her. Deb Frecklington is in the studio. Good morning. Good morning. It is great to be back. Happy New Year. Happy Same New to Year. you. We'll go around the room. Favourite politician? Deb would have to be, wouldn't she? Oh, do you have another one? <laughs> Your question. Uh, I th- uh, you are my favourite politician. <laughs> Thank you, Abby. Thank yeah. you. You're, <laughs> you're one of my favourites It depends. Well. Uh-huh. It depends what I'm, and Matt. Yeah. what I'm getting from them, you know? So oh. policy-wise, of course. Of course. <laughs> Not uh. just a free lunch at Parliament. Yes. Well, that is still, that was, that's been promised and I'm still waiting, Deb. Yeah, it's so, happening. Uh, Happy New Year to you. Thank uh, you. We were just discussing before we got on air <laughs> the fact that Abby has her breast pumps. I'm very concerned that you're holding it and handling it. So that's oh, he's not near the there. He's pump. not near the region where he, he's all right with that. But I was like, do you know that things have just changed? Like even since I first started like breast pumping seven years ago, it's so much more advanced. Like now I've got this in big industrial one and you don't even need to sterilise bottles anymore. Why? What's the thinking behind because that? Because apparently it's got uh, like a natural. A, a natural yeah, that makes sense. Anacent. Well, as long as you're immunising your kids, I'm, <laughs> I'm all for it. But uh, don't know about the breast pump thing. That's been a while for me. Since, right. since all of that. Yeah. Well, give it a whirl. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Abby. I'm not... right. <laughs> what, on air? Or... No, no, yeah. no, no, no. We've been making all our guests do it. It's, yeah, uh, it's the thing we're this doing. This is the new thing yeah. for 2019. Yeah. Yeah. Want to get yeah. the news, Deb? Yeah. yeah. Wow. How is it all yeah. going, though? How is the whole political world? Yeah, look, it's going really well. We've um, kick-started 2019. Of course, we're still in opposition, unfortunately, but Mm -hmm. uh, working towards uh, the election, which is next year for the state and getting around the state and, um, you know, holding this government to account. There's a lot of issues. We've still got major problems in the health system here in Queensland. Uh, You know, ambulance ramping, we need more emergency beds. Another thing that's really come out over Christmas as well is the lack of police officers. We've oh. seen, you know, crime go through the roof in many regions. Uh, we know the bikies are back on the Gold Coast, which is a real concern for residents on the Gold Coast, but also the fact that nearly every police station doesn't have enough police. And yeah. I is think that, that's a real concern. Is that because we're not recruiting enough or there's not enough positions opening? Because we were even hearing about um, during the holidays that um, civilians were taking the places of police officers. And I imagine that they would work in the police office. It wouldn't just be like, hey, Bob, down the road at the convenience store, do you want to be sergeant for the day? Yeah. <laughs> but is it, is it? Well, I think one of the problems is, is that the Palaszczuk government have just really taken their, you know, their finger off the pulse when it comes to policing in Queensland. And that's just such a shame. I mean, you need to plan for the future. You need to make sure a lot of these stations have the right rostering and the right support in them. The police also need the resources. Uh, uh, so when, when crime goes up because we've got a government that's soft on crime, let's remember they wound back a lot of the laws. They wound back the bikey laws. Uh, they also wound back a lot of the juvenile laws. So that means more crime is happening. So so the police need more support. And who wouldn't want to go to the police academy? It looks like a delightful romp. <laughs> well, I've got a nephew who wants to be a police officer, well, so oh. I'm telling him now's a great time to put his name down. Yeah. I mean, yeah. uh, we need as many people. Look, honestly, they're one of the hardest working men and women out there, and um, I think they need the, as much support as they can get, and unfortunately they're not getting it from this current Labor, Labor government in Queensland. Uh, awesome. Well, we've also got you in here to play a uh, new game. Oh, <laughs> You're our very first player of what we like to call Plead the Fifth. Mm. Oh, Plead the Fifth. Okay, yes. American. Yes. Yes, Because yes, okay. everything that happens in America <laughs> works <laughs> in Australia. God bless you. Uh, you know what I mean? So yeah. uh, we're going to hit you with some questions. Uh, you're only allowed to plead the fifth on two of them. Once you've plead the fifth, Twice, you must answer every question okay. from now on forward. I've never seen you this nervous. I'm nervous Even when you're fronting now. the media about <laughs> no. Well, I trust you guys not, really. Okay, all right. That's <laughs> all right. All right. Surely when you're about to be elected leader, everyone sits you down and goes, right, any skeletons? Oh, yeah. No, I, I'm very open with any skeletons, but... Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm all good with that. It's just God knows what you guys are going to ask really me. You have to answer all that. You would, no, wouldn't you? No, oh, no. well, not necessarily. I think it comes out. All right, right. we'll pretend okay. I'm that person. Here okay. we go. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Number one, easy one. Who's your hall pass? Oh, the, <laughs> I've actually <coughs> got two, Matthew McConaughey <coughs> yeah. and Simon Baker. Uh, oh, yes, the mentalist. Yeah. Not at the same time. No, it's just if one's not available. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Have Actually, you ever that sounded dodgy? <laughs> <laughs> have you ever blocked anyone on your socials? Uh, yes, I have. I have. Some people have just got extremely dodgy mm. um, with some of their their hate yep. on it. But yet, so anyone that swears or is too abusive, they get blocked. Who's your least favourite politician? <laughs> uh, 
Well, that's a really hard one because there's so many. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Can't plead the fifth. Uh, plead the fifth. Oh, plead the fifth. Oh, okay. Plead the fifth. <laughs> All right. Oh. Got one left. Wow. Okay. Have you ever stolen anything? Oh, um, yes. I actually stole a lollipop at the Wendowan shop when I was small. And I remember it so much because my mum was really, really crazy. Did she do the whole thing where you have to take you back and apologise? Yes. Yeah. Embarrassing. Was it it a, was a lollipop. Was it a chuppa chup? It was a chuppa chup. Wow. I think so. Yeah, it was yeah. a lollipop. I remember that, but I was pretty... I was in a lot of trouble. Even when so you stole, I always you, remember it. You steal a chopper chop, though, you still can't unwrap the bloody thing. Yeah. <laughs> so you can return it. And I was about it. five. Yeah. So, yeah. so I had to return it. All right. Excellent. Have you ever tried drugs? Uh, yes. Uh, I had a few puffs when I was quite young, um, but I got really sick, so I've never never gone back. Is that what you tell your daughters? I'm going to yeah. try that one next time <laughs> yeah. as well. Yes, I like no, that one. No, but I ha can I add to yes. that? Um, I... No, but my one of my husband's very, very good friends um, has had a huge amount of problems because of drug use, mm. and so uh, we've we've both become just such staunch advocates against, and we've people, seen yeah. how it affects them mentally. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, probably regret that I did, but yeah. Do you think because the big debate is around pill testing and stuff now, mm. um, and I think that's the difference between generations as well. When you talk about people go, but you tried drugs as a kid methamphetamines and all that kind of stuff is only recently new. Yeah, you but know, this that is was... hardline drugs that mm, kill people. Yeah. And mm. the reason why drugs are illegal is because they do kill people. I mean, some of these pills, look at look at what has happened over Christmas, for example. Yeah. Just absolute tragedies. Uh, and I think our kids just need to know that drugs kill. Yeah. yeah. Simple as that. Do you have the ability to look at your daughter's social media accounts? Uh, no, I don't. Wait till she's but... in government and she will. <laughs> but Surely there's I someone will. could do it for you. No, look, but, so yes, I can see them because I make all three of them. I have to be their friend on their okay. social media. Okay. So if something stupid goes up, yeah. I get to see it, but I don't have access to their accounts. But if they do something stupid, I just say I won't pay your phone bill. Oh, oh good perfect. One. Good one. Yeah. Ah, are they on Snapchat? Yes, and yes. Are you on Snapchat? No. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that actually has been the debate in our house over Christmas because yeah. I'm not. Uh. So, yes, I'm going to have to be on Snapchat, uh. um, but everything else, I think. Should we do one more? Yeah, give us one more. One more. By the way, I can't, can you let us know your Snapchat handle when you yeah, got on there? I will. Can't wait to see in, there. in bunny ears. Are you on Snapchat? <laughs> no, but I'll get on for Deb. <laughs> so, so this is my, my new thing for 2019. <laughs> what are you Snapchat. doing? Just Snapchatting Snapchat. Deb? And, yeah, and by the way, our children now think we're both completely daggy. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Completely, yeah. Especially yeah. when you use the word daggy. Yeah. Like, <laughs> find something else. All right. Uh, last question. Remember, you do have one more. Okay. How much money is in your everyday bank account? <laughs> oh, my God. Um, not a great deal because I've got three kids. Um, uh, not a great deal. Do I have to say the the exact amount? I'm going to have to play the fifth. Play the fifth. Play the oh, fifth. You've done well. There we go. Well done. <laughs> Very well. What about the hidden one from your husband that he doesn't know about? Well, How much is in that? Oh, in the that hidden one. <laughs> <laughs> the running away account. No. I we call it MBA in our house, a mystery bank account. Oh, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. We don't give our intentions openly <laughs> clear. <laughs> <laughs> no. My husband, um, I think hopefully he just trusts me with the account. So I'm, I'm quite sure. So. Oh. Yeah. He'll um, listen to this and go, yeah, I have no idea because she looks after the account. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, but... it's what's in his runaway yeah, account. Exactly. You're worry about. <laughs> I'm actually thinking about that. I have no idea how much is in his. So that's exactly right. Well done. You, you've said Flying them Flying colours. Well, thank you. Well, I, I shouldn't have been so nervous. Or honest, depending on how this goes. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I may be back in tomorrow explaining myself. <laughs> Deb Frecklington, lovely to see you. Thanks for coming in. Lovely to see you guys. And lunch at Parliament, promise. Yes. Oh. Yes.